The police department is now looking into this excessive force allegation. In this video that's now making its rounds on social media, you can see a Detroit police officer punching this man directly in his face, sending him straight to the ground. Oh. Oh my Lord. Immediately after the fall, two officers helped the man up, propping him against one of their legs. Cops aren't allowed to rat on other cops. It's called the blue coat of silence. Some people still believe that there are good cops and bad cops out there. I believe... If the good cops aren't telling on the bad cops or trying to stop them, then they're also just as bad. The other element to modern day policing that makes absolutely no sense is when police do do something bad and it gets reported, they're allowed to investigate themselves. The Internal Affairs de Department is full of people that used to work for the police department. They know everyone. So as usual, power has corrupted. We have to figure out a way to either give these guys term limits so they don't have the time to become so corrupt, or just make sure you film the police. Film every encounter. When you see someone else getting bullied by the police, take out your camera and film. I'm good, check here. The body cam video shot in January shows a Baltimore police officer searching a garbage strewn backyard. He finds a bag of drugs tucked into a soup can. Yo. But the video doesn't actually begin there. It starts 30 seconds earlier. Officer Richard Panero in the same spot planting the evidence, according to the public defender's office. Today, the police announced the officer has been suspended. I know we have to immediately launch an investigation. Uh, all boots on the ground.